Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is uh, Tahir Shafi Khan and I am a plastic surgeon here at South City Hospital. I have uh, over 20 years of experience at the Aga Khan University and a couple of other hospitals in the city. But um, I am now full time at South City. You can find me here any morning and uh, my clinic is a walk-in clinic so no appointments are necessary. Plastic surgery itself is a vast field where uh, broadly speaking at one end you have reconstructive surgery and at the other you have aesthetic or cosmetic surgery. The, while I do a little bit of reconstructive work here at South City, the primary focus of my work is cosmetic and uh, I offer the full spectrum of conventional um, cosmetic surgery here. Among the procedures that I um, feel adept at are primarily rhinoplasty, uh, facelifts, uh, abdominoplasties or tummy tucks, um, liposuction, arm, baggy arms, baggy thighs, all the full spectrum of breast surgery which would be uh, augmentation, reduction, reconstruction. Equally, um, a, a, a procedure that is uh, in my practice at least increasing in numbers is uh, male breast surgery, uh, gynecomastia, where young men find that their lifestyle or um, or the way they uh, are able to enjoy life is severely inhibited by um, the size of their breasts. Come in, get sorted in a simple daycare procedure and uh, live happily ever after. I've incorporated in a facelift this uh, recent procedure um, called microfat uh, tissue transfer or nanofat which is stem cells. Essentially in an aging phase the descent can be corrected with a facelift. The deflation can only be corrected uh, and this is necessary because as the face ages you get that sunken hollow appearance um, to the face. By taking fat from the body, patient's own body, processing it while the patient's on the table and then injecting it in perfect or near perfect symmetry proportion, uh, you can change a result that is good into near perfect. And the potential of further processing the fat to harvest stem cells called nanofat rejuvenates the skin if injected appropriately. Having said that, my, uh, the operation that I enjoy the most is uh, a rhinoplasty, which is in common vernacular called a nose job. In a nose job, um, a patient comes to see me because they're unhappy with the appearance. If there is a significant problem with breathing, then I involve my ENT colleague, uh, Professor Tariq Rafi. But if it's a purely appearance-related issue, then um, I'm very happy to go ahead and operate, provided there is a clear understanding between the patient and myself of what it involves. Because no plastic surgery procedure is 100% fail safe and I think this applies not just to rhinoplasty but all procedures it's very important that any patient uh, has a full and frank discussion with his or her surgeon prior to agreeing to have the surgery because there are always pros and cons so it's very important that you uh, seek out someone uh, for your surgery because it is a leap of faith Someone you can trust who will lay out the entire picture in front of you and let you decide. And after a frank discussion, um, I can uh, proceed to improve things almost uh, without exception. In conclusion, what I'd like to say is that um, any cosmetic procedure, while very attractive on the outside, carries pros and cons. And it's essential that there is a frank and full discussion between the surgeon and his or her patient to decide whether this surgery is merited and uh, to proceed only if there is uh, a full understanding of what it entails. Thank you.